the town of Real de Catorce. And this is the slogan of the town in the Plaza de Armas. Un refugio para el amor. I have to say, this little town of Real de Catorce is a pueblo mágico here in Mexico. It's really grown on me. It's really nice. Um, there's Wi-Fi you can get if you need to be connected like I do for work. And if you like hiking, it's amazing because there's so many like mountains and hills around here and you can just go wherever you want. The town is super chill, really affordable prices. I literally haven't seen another foreigner here this whole week that I've been here. Now, granted, it's been during the week, so a lot of Mexican tourism, which is pretty cool. Like, it's, it's really cool to see where the locals want to go within their own country, you know? Like, there's a lot. Um, you know, adventure doesn't have to look like living in a van and traveling in a foreign country by yourself. It can, but it can also look like exploring places nearby to your, to your home or where you live and getting out to see different places that you've never seen, whether they're natural, historical, cultural, or any other different type of place that you might like to go and see. So it's, uh, yeah, it's been pretty neat experience being here. Just enjoy some peace and quiet up here. And uh, yeah, what a view, taking the view. Up at the top of Real de Catorce. Kind of early. We're the only ones up here. And I'm out of breath because it's... Hi, Zodi! Because it's uh, quite high in elevation here. Ah, so cool. It's really beautiful here. Been here for a couple of days already. Been hiking every morning. Hiked up that mountain. Hiked up that mountain. Yeah, it's nice. We gotta enjoy the quiet while we can because tomorrow's Friday, so I'm sure that there will be a lot more tourism in this town once the weekend comes. But yeah, it's real quiet during the week. This is my new girl, Sori. I got her last weekend. She was sitting in front of the Soriana grocery store, uh, abandoned. So I gave her some food and she followed me. And I brought her home, and then we hit the road the next day. So she's been traveling with us since then. I'm gonna try to get her an appointment to get spayed in San Luis Potosí in the next couple of days. As soon as I hit the road, I'm gonna call today. So hopefully we can get her all healthy. She's got an infection in her uterus, according to the vet. So as long as she's stable, she can wait a couple of days, but gotta get her in there so she can get to good health. Town is mostly pedestrian in that area where you can see there's a gate down there. It's a pedestrian zone, and there aren't a lot of cars driving in here anyway. But it is so quiet during the week, and especially right now, which is early morning. There's just you know a few people out on the streets. Really, really nice. I'll show you guys the park. This is like the center of town. Here goes everyone. Look at these pepperonis. <laughs> this is the school, which is online right now. I found out because I made friends with a 10 year old girl named Aretzi. She's very nice. Community center of learning, elementary school. Kind of pretty steep, these roads, so I'm glad that I Overlander said that we should. Uh, I should park in the parking lot right after I exit the tunnel because <laughs> I think the van would have a hard time on these roads. I would be I would be stressed. Oh, kindergarten. There are a lot of hotels and restaurants here. I had brought a lot of food with me, so I'm just finishing it up now. But hopefully tomorrow and this weekend I'll be enjoying some some food from the local vendors. And this is the park. If you get up in the hills, you can start to hear the chickens from all around the town waking up the roosters in the morning. Here's the park. And you can hear some donkeys, tons of birds. Oh my gosh, you can see so many stars at night because you're so far away from everything. The nearest city is easily 30 minutes plus away, probably closer to an hour, Marewala. This is the park. Pretty nice, or I guess it's probably the Plaza Central actually, but it's also a park. Hi, Monty. Are you happy? 
at these beagles. Oh, here we have... Okay, cool. I actually didn't see this before. So the tunnels where I came in were parked in this area here. Templo de la Purísima Concepción, which I imagine is where when people make their pilgrimage, like that's where they end up. So I imagine when it's the weekend, all of these little puestos are open and selling souvenirs. I'm parked inside there, which you can get in over here too. And this is the tunnel, Ogarrio. It's three kilometers long. And you have to wait your turn because it's only one way. So they have walkie-talkies and they radio when you can pass. Where I parked, this is like our, our yard. And the vendors are over here. You can actually kind of see the church up there. This is cool, a structure built into the rock. And someone's knitting, so there's a cave up there. Someone must live here over in the town yet to see what lays beyond. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh. What a morning. What a morning. I better go and get some breakfast. Wow. So we've made it a little farther than we made it yesterday and I kind of feel like in the land before time when they see like that forgotten valley or whatever that place is called it's so different over there and there's the shadows from the mountain it's just it's really cool and like the land just keeps going you can just see big expanses of what looks like farmland over there it's probably more fertile since it's more flat and here we have the town pretty amazing start to the weekend right chico chico what do you think and monty what do you think monty we're almost to the top it's kind of treacherous, honestly. I've been crawling with my hands mostly. Um, but now that we're up in this upper part, there's a lot of like big rocks to grab onto, so it's pretty good. I think when I go down, I'll be crawling on my hands also. Yeah, very carefully. Oh my gosh, we made it to the top. And this is truly incredible because you cannot even see another living being. I can hear some distant noise from over there and some distant noise from over there. But you can just see, I mean, there's a trail. I'm gonna definitely have to take that trail and see where it goes. But, oh my gosh, pretty freaking incredible way to start the weekend. Happy Saturday morning. There's literally no trail to get up here. Like, there's a trail for part of the way, but it went to that house that I recorded yesterday that's built into the rock, and all the dogs were out in front there today, so there were six of them, and they didn't want us to pass. So we just went up and around, and then we kind of, the dogs ran up this crack. I came up the crack at the end when it was uh, a little bit less treacherous, but pretty freaking amazing. Maybe you can hear the music coming up. You can hear some noise when you stand over here. But the good news is like this is a bald mountain. There's practically, you know, there's no large vegetation. So there's only like, you know, you locate the church, you go down, you get to the church, you go to the left, you get to the van. So it's it would be pretty difficult to get lost. And even if you're like, oh shoot, which town is mine? Like, okay, well we have this and then we have this. So it's pretty clear. I found this really cool rock on the way up. It's kind of like this, but smaller with like the stripes. Pretty neat. This guy's been following us the whole time. I think he's a stray. Chico's not too happy about it, but he's tolerant. So yeah, I think we're gonna we'll have breakfast up here. I brought up a gordita left over from yesterday. I actually tried something new yesterday. Well, tried two new things. I tried nopales for the first time, which is cactus with the thorns removed in a gordita. And I tried something called Huitzlacoche, and I had to ask what it is. I guess it's from this area, I, I suppose. Um, and it's, they, they said it was hongo de maíz, and I was like, okay, like, does that mean mushroom? Does that mean fungus? Like, but um, it ended up being, yeah, it kind of looked like mushrooms. I ended up looking it up later, and yeah, apparently, According to Wikipedia, it's a carcinogenic fungus. So I was like, oh, why are people eating a carcinogenic fungus? 
but um, it also apparently has a lot of health benefits and stuff too. And it was cooked with tomato and onion. It was pretty good. They said most people either like it or hate it, and it didn't have a strong flavor, so I liked it. So, yeah, it was interesting. I went with my little friend, um, my 10-year-old friend here, <laughs> and we went and got gorditas last night and brought some back for her mom, who's um, selling some some souvenirs and such pretty close to where I have the van parked, so that's how we met. So tonight I'm going to go and buy some souvenirs from her mom. They have uh, homemade caramel and her mom knitted like these headbands that look really warm and a bunch of other stuff. This is like a real touristy town. I mean, it's been really hard hit because of COVID, but they said that COVID has not made it here to this town yet, as far as I understand. So that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, back to the view. Hopefully you guys could see me. I don't know. I just turned the camera around, so there's no telling. Pretty cool to have the whole place to ourselves, but obviously I'm not the first human to have made it up here as there's some uh, glass beer bottles over there. Pretty freaking amazing. I'm glad I put sunblock on though. There's my backpack. I'm gonna go have breakfast, give the dogs some water, and yeah, see where we take it from there. And probably just go up to that one over there and see how the views are. Um, there's like some goat and cow poo, so I'm assuming that these like trails are, you know, livestock paths. Or maybe they're, I mean, I can't imagine they're wild cows, but, uh, could be wild goats, but probably not. So yeah, livestock pass. This is so interesting. So we hiked up to the top and we saw, like, I could see a little bit of fencing from there. But I wasn't sure what it was. And there's this lot that's, you know, someone took the time to bring all this barbed wire up here. It's obviously been tilled and ready for planting, or perhaps been planted, and there's no one. And then there's this, which is clearly very intentionally created. And it reminds me, when I was at Teotihuacan, there were some similar like arrangements of rocks. And I think, if I remember correctly, it was just like part of the garden, like it was made for decoration, but perhaps it could have something to do with like fertility of the land or I don't know. It's very beautiful, really, really beautiful. And look at these views, so cool. It's just amazing. Like you just happen to come up here and, and come upon this plot of land at first when I saw the rocks, I was like, oh, maybe it's like, sometimes people will put up a, like a handmade rock wall to fence off where they're going to have their house or like the beginnings of the house or something like that. But that, that does not seem to be the case. Wow. Pretty phenomenal. Let's go see what we see. So in the end, there wasn't really too much view up that way. It was just more mountains and like we could have just kept going and going. But I feel like this is pretty good. I just wanted to kind of sit and have some peace. And when we come around the side, you can actually see the church. And I'm assuming that's the graveyard, which is pretty interesting. And then there's a wall. I guess it's around the graveyard, but maybe it's also around the town or just maybe just the church property. Yeah, interesting. Cool. This farmer is taking all of his goats up the mountain for the day. So we're going to hang out over here so nobody bothers the goats. But also, cool view. That's the same church, and here's where it connects to the rest of Real de Catorce. I don't know if it's still considered part of the same town, I would imagine, but maybe not. Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop us a like, leave a comment below, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell so you'll be in the loop for all of our future videos. Can't wait to share our adventures with you. See you in the next one.